Hey guys, welcome to another Proven Sales Letter Breakdown video. This is the 92nd edition, so we're almost in the finish line, but I got something really interesting for you today, and it's an, an expedition letter, okay? So this was written by a company who organizes uh, exotic expeditions all throughout the globe, and uh, this is to memorate Edward C. Burks, who was apparently a big figure, historic figure, in discovering the South Pole and uh, doing a lot of expeditions. Uh, in the Arctic and on and Antarctic, um, and the uh, the successors of of this person uh, formed a company, and uh, they hired a copywriter called um, just a second here, Hank Burnett, who wrote an amazing letter, uh, basically selling these excursions to affluent people. Okay, so this basically was a, a direct mail letter that went out to uh, people who own boats or planes or something like that. So they're, uh, they're more uh, wealthy and probably they're more likely to be adventurous, you know, so it's, it's kind of a good list. And uh, it flat out sold a 28 day, 26 day, uh, $10,000, um, like all inclusive type of um, expedition, basically. And although it's basically, like this ad could have just said, you know, this is uh, like an all-inclusive trip, a big school trip, basically, and uh, and just buy it here. But instead, Hank Burnett made up. Um, it's not just a story, but it's it's a feeling. It's uh, it's this uh, it's this very uh, very memorable type of feeling that he made up uh, that was conveyed very effectively by this sales letter. So what this means is that he created uh, a, a, a type of dream that he sold to people. And this dream is that you, as the uh, expedition member, could be immortalized uh, for all ages and you could take part in, in discovering something new in being part of a huge scientific experiment. Uh, you could meet uh, heads of state. You could be welcomed by the Pope. You will get all these various things to commemorate your bravery and expedition. But it's not for the weak. It's not for the faint of heart. This is there uh, for real uh, people uh, who who are more adventurous and who feel more special. And uh, this is a very, very effective way to market to the affluent. And Dan Kennedy has a great book. I think it's called Marketing to the Affluent, which also talks a lot about these things. But uh, the main point here is that basically selling a high-end 21, 26-day expedition through the world's polar regions uh, angled and positioned in a way so that it's actually super exciting for people and they are going to feel like, oh my God, I mean, I cannot say no to this because I would be, I'm just imagine the bragging rights that I'm going to have. And that's the whole crux of the equation here, the, uh, the bragging rights. So this was an incredibly alluring promotion uh, that makes you want to do something life-changing and um, it makes you feel like you've done something super significant in your life. Because think about it, a lot of people, their lives are super boring, uh, they might make a lot of money, but uh, I don't know, maybe they're lawyers, doctors, uh, something like that, maybe they have a business, but it's boring, they don't feel like you know uh, they are in a position to pass down great stories to their grandchildren or something like that. But imagine this, right? It's only $10,000. Well, it, it was written in 1968, so $10,000 then, it's like, I don't know, $50,000 now or something like that. Um, and, and the sales letter even tells this upfront, uh, but it's still super powerful because it qualifies the right people. It does disqualifies people who, for whom price could be an objection, but it qualifies other people. And remember, the target audience for this already has boats or planes. So that means they probably have money for this as well. So as you can see, the entire promotion, it looks like a sale. It looks like a letter, okay? It's just like, notice the, the type font as well. It's just like an official sounding or scientific type of, of letter. And notice how, you know, uh, the, the sender was Transpolar Expedition Admiral Richard E. Bird Polar Center. So, um, so like when the prospect gets this letter and opens it, they're gonna be like, wow, wh why did I get get a letter, like an official sounding letter like this? Uh, like, what's up with this? I gotta read it, right? Why did I receive this letter? And then the letter starts, Dear Mr. Archer, 
So no, notice there's also personalization happening here in 1968, which ain't too shabby if you think about it. Uh, but this definitely raises response a bit. So the letter starts like this. As chairman of the Admiral Richard E. Byrd Polar Center, it is my priv privilege to invite you to become a member of an expedition which is destined to make both news and history. So first of all, this is a personal invitation and it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And then I like how it sets expectations right off the bat. It says, it will cost you $10,000 and about 26 days of your time. Frankly, you will endure some discomfort and may even face some danger. So think about it. Like it qualifies people and disqualifies many, many, many people. People who uh, don't want any discomfort in their lives, they're going to be like, okay, I'm out of here. Or who don't want to spend a lot of money for this uh, but those are the people who are kind of adventurous and they have the money they're gonna be like hmm, interesting I'm listening and then we get some benefits here uh, on the other hand you will have the rare privilege which also is a scarcity element of taking part in a mission of great significance for the United States and the entire world a mission incidentally which has never been attempted before so think about it the the dream that we're selling here is that you, dear reader, you could be a pioneer. Don't you want to be like a celebrated American hero, a pioneer, someone that the entire world remembers? It's very powerful. And then we continue. Uh, you will personally harp the chance to help enrich mankind's fund of knowledge about two of the last early fr earthy frontiers, the polar regions. So again, you will become interesting and you will be remembered i am inviting you to join a distinguished group of 50 people so there we have built-in scarcity who will fly around the world longitudinally over both poles on an expedition which will commemorate admiral richard e Byrd's first antarctic flight in 1929 so uh, again this has historic significance here and then I don't want to read everything because the page is eight pages long, the, the letter, but we have some unique features here mentioned, uh, like how, you know, there's going to be some highlights. This is a very high level overview, how we're going to go over, uh, like we're going to visit American military and scientific bases. Uh, we're going to go to Greenland. We're going to go to Antarctica. We're going to go to other places as well. And, you know, check out this ego boost. Um, because this expedition has the interest and support of much of the free world, you and your fellow members will be honored guests, in many, many cases even celebrities, at state and diplomatic receptions throughout the itinerary. You will have the opportunity to meet and talk with some of the world's important national leaders and public figures, such as Pope Paul VI, the Emperor of Japan, General Carlos Rumulo, and many others who are already a part of history. So everything is there to build up the, uh, the idea of importance, that you are going to be important. You are going to feel like a special person uh, forever, and nobody can take these memories away from you. And just think about the bragging rights, the significance, the ego boost that a lot of these people have. Like Think about it. They're more affluent, so it means they're probably... They have some egoistic tendencies or something, or at least their own self-esteem is important to them. So this is this is a gen, like a very strong value proposition here, and you will be immortalized because your name will be inscribed with all with those of the other expedition members on a bronze memorial tablet. So all in all, setting expectations, just <clears throat> painting the dream. What are all the main benefits that you'll receive and notice how it's not overselling the benefits it's just selling that you know you are going to be you you are basically going to get this and that and that and it builds a lot of desire in people that's for sure so then we have a little open loop here by saying before i continue with the details of the ex expedition let me tell you more about you know our organization so this is there to like increase readership and we all know that the more the people read your letter the more likely they are to convert much more likely and another open loop for you if you like this video then smash the like button right now before you forget and if you're new to the channel then definitely subscribe because i'm releasing these videos daily and there's a huge library of uh, proven sales letter breakdowns already i'm gonna leave a link in the description section where you can check out 
91 other uh, proven sales letter breakdown videos. So to my knowledge, there's definitely nothing that even clo comes close to this on YouTube, which you can all watch for free. And these are all super in-depth, very high quality uh, and, uh, and advanced copywriting breakdowns and marketing breakdowns as well. So check it out. Um, but getting back to the sales page here, uh, then we, we, we got a little background story of uh, Admiral Byrd, who was the founder of the society. Uh, you know, there's some contextualization elements here. And then we got a bunch of reason why it's behind the mission, behind the mission of the center itself, like why this uh, whole thing came to be. Well, it came to be because, you know, we wanted to push the boundaries of human knowledge and we wanted to explore the um, the Arctic regions, which are still, you know, very unexplored, if you think about it. And uh, um, there's a little mini story here of specifics, which I like because it, it captivates people. It draws them in more and more and more. And then we even have a reason why for the product itself, the product being the expedition here itself. It says, these objectives, I think you will agree, are entirely valid and important for the f and important for the future of humanity. It is for this reason that the inaugural activity of the Bird Polar Center will be an expedition of such scope and magnitude. So there will be an expedition which inaugurates this Bird Polar Center. And basically, this is kind of like a fundraiser, if you think about it. So then we had we have uh, an authority build-up section for uh, the commander who's going to be uh, our commander here so that people can, it's, he's called Fred G. Dustin, uh, veteran of six polar expeditions, advisor to the Admiral Byrd, uh, and, uh, you know, he has all these credentials so that, you know, people, they start feeling like there's a good leader who is going to take care of them. Um, we have some authority build up for the gear itself that they'll be using the plane uh so it's like an it's gonna going to be uh you know flown by this air force former air force one pilot and you know best of the best and it's very important all the time when you're marketing to the affluent that you make them feel like they are getting the best of the best because they feel like they are important they feel like they are kind of above others which is it's okay i'm not judging here uh, it may be the case or it may not be, but they want the finer things in life. They want uh, everything to be taken care of for them. They want to buy back their time. They want to buy back uh, <coughs> their uh, opportunities in life. And whenever you can highlight these things uh, that they can feel special in the VIP, usually it's going to sell more. So we have more setting expectations. And then finally, we basically get into the uh, explaining what's in the product, if you think about it. So in this case, we just get a list of all the uh, stops that are going to happen on this expedition with a brief overview and some desire building elements here for each one, uh, which is basically kind of like if you have a sales page for an online course, for example, this is where you write, you know, in module one, you learn, and then you have a few bullets of, of all the things that you learn in module one. But uh, it does the same thing. So first of all, we have Thule, Greenland, then the expedition is going to go to the North Pole where you're going to discover this and that. Then it goes to Anchorage, Alaska. Then it goes to Tokyo, Japan, because remember, it flies over the Earth, uh, like in the uh, northern side the upper side uh, so you go to Tokyo Japan and check this out like you're going to also uh, have the opportunity to meet the Emperor like wow the Japanese Emperor like he's such a like demigod type of figure and now you have the chance to meet him Wow so then you go to Manila Philippines uh, again more more things to do like you can go fishing and hunting and there's going to be uh, expeditions for you and then to Darwin Australia Sydney Australia Christchurch New Zealand uh, and then you go to Antarctica which this is the the biggest part of the explanation here because this is kind of like the the uniqueness the, the, the biggest uniqueness of the whole thing uh, and uh, there's a lot of hypnotic pacing elements here. And if you think about it, this is the whole unique selling proposition of the of the uh, sales letter because it says, I am told that only a total eclipse of the sun is comparable in emotional impact to the first sight of Antarctica. Once experienced, neither can be forgotten. If you prove to be like most who have seen Antarctica, you will need somehow somebody to return. And when you do, the emotional impact will be just as profound. This is what the Antarctic veterans say. 
For Antarctica exists well beyond the boundaries of the world you know. You will soon dare, you will see there a sun you have never seen before. Breathe air you have never before breathed. You will see menacing white mountains towering for thousands of feet over a black ocean in which, with luck, you might survive for 45 seconds. So, you know, these are super evocative words. It's very powerful, but it's there to like basically hypnotize people and build a lot of desire so that they start salivating. They're going to be like, oh my God, I got to go to this because otherwise, I mean, just imagine all the things that I'm going to miss out. Like in most cases in a year, I just see one or two of these things. Maybe, maybe, but now I can just basically burst mode myself into creating a, uh, a lifetime of, of, of unforgettable memories. And imagine my neighbor and my colleague, when I go back to the office, you know, to the law firm or something, and all the other partners, I'm going to ask them, like, how was your summer? How was your, I don't know, because this is in October or November or something like that. How was your Thanksgiving? And they're going to say, you know, we got together with the family. I went to, I don't know, Disneyland or something like that. How was your Thanksgiving? As I, and, I, and you're going to say, you know, I went to Antarctica, I met with the Pope, I met with Emperor, the Japanese Emperor, I took part in a safari, I visited the uh, scientific and military bases on Antarctica, yada, yada, yada. And other people are going to be jealous as fuck. And that's what's important for this specific audience. Uh, it is what it is, but these types of evocative words. And notice how it's not super aggressive at all, but it's very, very powerful. Uh, so I hope you, you're, you're getting the message here and, and how uh, by using these things, you can build much, much more desire for these, uh, for these types of products and services. So then we have even more incredible promises. And it really, really makes it feel like a lot, once in a lifetime opportunity. So you're also going to go to the South Pole, to Chile, uh, Brazil, Senegal, Italy. Like you're going to meet with the Pope. Think about it. Uh, and also go to London, England as well. And then we have some bonuses as well, because bonus one, as mementos of the expedition, you will receive a leather bound personalized copy of the logbook, logbook and a piece of the fabric from Admiral Byrd's original plane mounted in crystal. Wow, what a nice little collection of artifacts. And then bonus two, very important, you're going to have basically uh, an easy way to showcase this to others. Because the whole thing, if you think about it, the dominant emotion behind this whole sales letter is just that you can show off to others, if you think about it. Is that your smug brother-in-law on the next family reunion before Christmas, for example, uh, finally you can, you can stick it to him. And you're gonna say, you know, my life is much more interesting than yours. Uh, you're not gonna say it like this, but there's a very deep desire in people to feel this. And Dan Kennedy does a great job always explaining these. So the bonus too, you will also be presented with a framed certificate from the Admiral Richard E. Byrd Polar Center, affirming your appointment as a founding trustee and expressing appreciation for your interest in contributions to and efforts on behalf of the center of its objectives. In the future, you will be kept fully advised of the plans and activities of the center and will be invited to participate to whatever extent you wish. And of course, you will have lifelong access to the center's archives and services. So there you have like a lot of bonuses here. And um, if you think about it, it's uh, it's extremely important to, to highlight these things because as I said, one of the key selling propositions here isn't necessarily the expedition. It is to some degree, but all the memories, all the immortalized memory, memories later on, all showcasing that you are unique because this is once in a, uh, it's a once in a lifetime experience. So then we have some more qualification. We're starting to shift to the pitch part here, the closing section of the sales letter. So we paint the dream a little bit more. Uh, we qualify people by saying, it is true, I think, that this privilege does carry responsibility with it. Uh, but then, you're, so it's not like it's you have to work for it, okay? But then think about it. Again, the target audience here, they like to work for it. Uh, they've worked for it their whole lives, their entire lives. And they understand that there's like if they want to get a result in life, they have to like put in some sort of work and energy and effort and time into it. Uh, so they understand this. Uh, but also they're going to feel better than the others because they're going to feel like, yes, I survived and I, um, 
you know, I I took I had the courage to go on this worldwide expedition and think about it. We all get, you know, you might have read some uh, some novels when you were younger from Jules Verne, for example, Journey to the Center of the Earth or something like that. It's very similar to that uh, because there you have this feeling of like importance and significance and 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 purpose. You know, you're you're doing a service to the entire world. Well, this is the thing that this. Uh, expedition is selling and make no mistake this isn't really that super dangerous type of expedition not at all uh, but it still makes people feel like heroes and and uh, and mavericks a little bit so uh, then we start shifting into the closing section and uh, I like how this part says, but first of all, you must decide about this trip. If you have a sense of adventure, a certain pioneering spirit, and if the prospect of taking part in a mission of worldwide significance and historic importance appeals to you, perhaps you should consider joining this expedition. It is doubtful that you will have another chance like this. Which is true. Like, it really sounds like that. And I like how it's honest, it's honest, it's powerful. And notice how, one thing I noticed is that the copy itself... Uh, usually, when we uh, analyze these sales letters, it's a good idea to only have like a single sentence or maybe two, three sentences in the paragraph. And here, the paragraphs are longer. It's a little bit harder to read, but uh, that's by design because think about it. Like, yeah, good copywriting is, a, is like a chameleon. Like, you have to appeal to the target audience and to also uh, show some type of brand and, and product uh, image as well. So, in this case, the... Uh, the target audience, affluent people who have boats or planes. And uh, the brand image here is kind of like a scientific society. So if you were to start writing like uh, a copywriter from a make money online niche or something, just short lines with dot, dot, dot at the end, people in the target audience would be like, what the hell is this? Like, this doesn't sound like an official scientific type of expedition or something. People don't like write, write like this. Uh, but you got to keep this in mind, right? If you're writing copy for this market. On the other hand, if you're writing copy to health or uh, to newer audiences, Gen Z, maybe um, make money online or biz up or something like that, then you should definitely have way shorter sentences and shorter paragraphs. But this is something just an advanced type of, of thing to always keep in mind. So we're getting closer to the end. Uh, we have urgency. Basically, you have three months to decide. No pressure, but I'm sure you understand that there are 60 places in total, including reservists. Uh, so, yeah, no, no, don't want to stress you. It's imp like it's understandable that you have to think about this, but uh, just you know, uh, like get your get yourself on the list, list if possible. So then we also have a little uh, notice here that. This is all inclusive, so you're gonna have less stress and less hassle, which are very important for this target audience. Like all accommodations, all beverages, all food, everything will be provided, transportation, and all the best available under all circumstances. So this is what our target audience here wants to hear. We have some injection handling saying that, you know, um, don't worry, if we make a profit off of this, then all the money will, it's not like we're gonna pocket it too, too much, but all the extra money is going to go to the um, activities of the Polar Center. Then we have the call to action, you know, to reserve your spot, uh, then uh, send like a deposit. Um, also showcasing that you cannot get your deposit back uh, 30 days, so after 30 days before the expedition start. So this also adds a little bit of exclusivity, uh, some more objection handling, and then the signed off. And then very importantly, we have a surprise bonus, which uh, signifies the uh, the bragging rights aspect even more because it's ha it, it says, we have just made arrangements of a professional camera crew to accompany the flight. And as, and as a result, we will be able to provide you with the short film clip and sound tape of your experiences. So now you're gonna get on camera as well. And now you're going to be able to show a little documentary to all your fans and family members and relatives and anybody else, your coworkers, uh, just showing, you know, I, I, I was there, I've been there, uh, and it's very powerful. So yeah, it's very, very powerful. 
it makes you feel like an all-American hero uh, simply by going on this mission. And uh, the promise here, the dream that we're selling is that you would be praised by distinguished authorities and you will also receive documentation and photos to basically show off your once in a lifetime uh, experience and opportunity. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like on the video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share it with others because there's rare to find uh, a breakdown like this. Uh, maybe some of your marketing copywriter or, or something like your friends who are interested in these things uh, would, would probably like to see this letter if they are friends of yours who, who binge on this stuff or who enjoy it, then definitely make sure to share them. Uh, share it, this with them and uh, and also leave a comment let me know what you think because this is such a such a, a counterintuitive looking sales letter and it's so unique like i think this is one of the most unique ones that i've broken down uh, on this challenge and i've been doing this for 91 days 92 including this so leave a comment let me know your thoughts did you like it uh did you not like it uh what was the one thing that connected with you the most so thanks again for watching see you tomorrow